<laughs> Josh, give me the manga recording. Why? I don't think so. Why? No, give me the recording. Give it to me now. <laughs> give me the recording. Give it to me. Give it to me. What now. recording? You're ringing a recording right now of me. Yes, give I am. It to me. I'm just letting you know I'm recording give you. Give it to me right now. No, give it to me. So this can be proven in court. Give it to me. And this is why you need to choose the girls that you're going to be with wisely. Hands down. I don't know what's going on with this video. I haven't seen this video. We're going to watch it together. <sighs> if this is how it's going to start, I already know it's going to be good. What's going on? It's your boy Webb back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at this. Just I don't know if you want to call her Karen. I don't want. I don't know if you want to call her. I don't know what you want to call her. But she is flipping out, man. But before we get into the video, make sure if you're new, you subscribe to the damn channel, man. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. The goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer, which is less than a month away. So make sure you share the video. Other than that, let's just hop right back into this damn video, man. No. Yeah, I'm no, I won't. I won't. No. No. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Hi, Joe. Please don't. Can you come over? No. They're coming over. She's right there. No, 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 please. No, you're killing me. What do you no. want me to do? I don't understand. I'm not doing no. anything wrong. No. no. Are you kidding no. me? No. So, I, I don't know. The, supposedly, the backstory of this situation is the fact that her husband caught her cheating and i don't know the technicalities if that's the if that's their house or if that's her little you know sancho's house i have no idea but he caught her cheating and now he's recording her and now she's having this like mental breakdown flip out moment now there's other videos that i've covered in the past where i talk about how a lot of these people's mental breakdowns you know basically within the last year last year and a half anyway stem from the whole coronavirus but in this situation i have no idea as far as i'm concerned this girl is just crazy plain and simple and this dude should have took heed of that he should have understood that within the first month of dating her he should have understood that this girl is crazy man look at how she's acting wild no no No, please, please, please. What do you no. want me to do? No, what do you want me to do? Please. I don't need this. Get just please. leave me. Just no. go. I don't know what I can do to make you better. No, like where do I go from no. here to make it better? I don't understand. Please. So please. you need to. thing that i find funny about these type of situations is just the fact that these are the type of girls right here that will put you in these i don't know because i don't know what she's going on but these are the type of girls these are the type of women that will put you in these situations to where you're paying them all this damn child support or she won't let you see her kids or whatever the case may be because they be mentally unstable now obviously i'm not talking about all women and i'm not talking about all women who are mentally unstable that are in this situation however you have to take a look at the, the situation that you're dealing with right here she's acting like a damn child man if there's anything that we can see is she's acting like a damn child she's having a little fit just like a little two-year-old would now going back to like i said before i have no idea if she has some type of mental illness however the fact that she's acting like this is ridiculous man i understand that we all have or we all potentially could have mental breakdowns but at the i mean at this point in life like you have to understand the situation that you're being with and obviously she wasn't feeling this way when she cheated on her husband that's the most best part about the whole thing she wasn't <laughs> the best part about this story or the best part about this video is the fact that you know she wasn't acting or thinking like this when she cheated on her husband Well, I'm 
She sounds like a damn zombie, man. I mean, I don't know. Just this girl is insane. However, the thing that I like I said, the thing that I find interesting about this video is just the fact that obviously he brought up the fact of, oh, I need this to, to have some type of evidence to prove in court. He said that earlier in the video. And then in this part of the video right here, she keeps begging for him to delete the video just to, you know, because he has dirt on her now. And now she's trying to tell him and then you hear him. Oh, I'll delete the video. I'll delete the video Then she's like, oh, you have to delete it in front of me, man. You got to understand who you're dealing with, man and but don't you find it funny though isn't this the sad truth the sad reality of the whole situation is the fact that most of the time if not all the time now i'm generalizing but most of the time the women or i, I should say the dudes that end up with these type of women are always the docile type they're always the type of dudes to take commands from their girl now i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that however as far as i'm concerned i see that as being problematic just for the fact of like if you're gonna let anybody talk down to you let alone your woman or i mean you can say the same thing for your guy too but like as far as i'm concerned from the male experience if your woman is talking down to you and treating you like just bs that's a clear-cut sign right there she has no respect for you she doesn't care about you and obviously she cheated on you in this particular situation so she has all she all respect went out the window however she's just trying to save face and understand like oh because now he has some dirt on me and now he's recording me now i have to have a little fit in order to get my way it's ridiculous man Part, which part? No, just delete the, the whole part, thing. I see what you're doing me. to me. What am I doing? I'm protecting myself. No. This is a protection. No. Come on in, bud. No. No. You beat me yesterday no, in Gold's parking lot. No. I got six witnesses. Stop it. So, like, go ahead, no. buddy. Huh? No. Mosquito stuff on me. You want some mosquito stuff? Okay. Go on inside real quick. I'll get it. The hydro. No. Just leave my shit alone and get Give out. Give me your phone and delete it now. Just get out. I don't know if I can listen to any of that anymore. Her damn begging, weeping, sobbing. I don't know what you want to call it. I can't put up with that anymore. I don't know. I have no idea. All I'm saying is that in these type of situations, you're to blame. You have to take accountability and responsibility for your actions. So be it. If you wanted to cheat on old dude, if you wanted to cheat on your husband, if you want to cheat on your boyfriend or whatever the case may be, so be it. Just own up to the situation. Plain and simple. Just own up to it. Now, obviously, and see, this is the thing. If you were going to own up to it and take accountability and responsibility for your actions beforehand, before, you know, or during you cheated or before you cheat anyway, you would even cheat to begin with. So obviously, that's what I'm saying. It goes back to the fact that it's like, well, oh, the fact that I got caught now, I got to pay the pity game and, the, and send everybody on a guilt trip. You should, why you should feel bad for me. I don't buy it, man. At the end of the day, it just simply comes down to the people that you meet, the people that you're dealing with, and this goes for both sides, men and women, the type of person that you meet. And I always say this time in, time again. First of all, you need to find your validation from yourself. You need to understand what you're about, how to move through this life with self-reliance, self-awareness, know exactly who you are, not let any little thing affect you, let any little thing hurt you, what people say or what people do. You have to understand about that, about yourself and also finding your self-esteem. That self-esteem has to come from within, not from somebody else. That validation has to come from within, not anybody else. And in these type of relationships, nine times out of 10, it's an interdependent thing where it's like they're finding their validation, they're finding their self-esteem and to, a reason to feel good about themselves be based on the other person. You have to understand that's not the way to operate because you end up like situations like this. You're either a super docile dude who, oh, is just happy to get with the chick and then let her treat you any way that she wants to treat you. Or on the other hand, you're a chick 
I mean, you could say the same thing. You're going to end up with a girl that, you know, you could be a girl that's getting cheated on all the time. Or you can end up like this where you're doing the cheating and then now you're going to lose your damn mind because you got caught or something like that. I don't know. I mean, we, we cover stories like this all the time and it's just the same old shit every single time. And it just gets more and more hilarious because of how they act. Let me know what you guys thought about the story down below. Make sure if you're new, subscribe to the damn channel, man. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. The goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer, which is less than a month away. So make sure you share the video. Also, if you want me to react, comment, or even give you some type of advice, hit me up at the download speaks at gmail.com. That's where you can find me. Other than that, man, understand you have to vet people whether a boyfriend whether a girlfriend you need to vet these people and understand if they match if they mesh with your personality and with who you are and your goals your ambitions are they down for the cause you have to understand these things because at the end of the day if they're not they're just going to keep dragging you down and dragging you back from where you need to be it's your boy webman peace <music>